Danielle Young, and welcome back to another episode of Danny Young Mornings. This week's episode goes out to all the dogs in honor of our new event, Dog Day of Summer. We've got Megan from the Manny Young Development Corporation joining us on the couch with her dog, Levon. Yep, and then I'll be heading up to Pretzel Park to meet with Danny from City of Paws for this episode's store tour. And then I'm going to teach a dog a few tricks on this week's Dillinger Does It. But first up, the Manny Young Morning Minute. Manyunk.com is pleased to present the first ever Dog Day of Summer event on Sunday, August 26th. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., pets and their owners are invited to enjoy pet-friendly vendors, activities, pet adoptions, food trucks, and more. Visit Manyunk.com for full details. This Thursday, August 13th, is Campfire and S'mores Night at Stroll the Street. Stop by Cotton Street to cozy up by the fire pits or cool down at the neighborhood restaurants and shops. Stroll the Street runs from 5 to 9.30 p.m. The Manyunk Brewing Company is bringing the Growler Team Relay to Manyunk on August 18th. The 43.2-mile running adventure will take participants from Manyang Brewing to Stable 12 Brewing and back. Visit growlerrelay.com to register. The Liberty Music Festival is back for its seventh year from August 23rd to 27th at the Grape Room. Stop by for a listen of some of the area's most talented musicians. August 23rd is Throwback Thursday at Stroll the Street. Grab the whole family for dinner and a movie as Ferris Bueller's Day Off will be shown on Cotton Street at sundown. Also on August 23rd, Pretzel Park's Barks on Tap will be returning for the last time this summer. Stop by the dog park for local brews with a portion of proceeds going to park improvements. The friends of Pretzel Park are pleased to present Shakespeare on August 24th with Much Ado About Nothing. Grab a seat on the lawn from 7 to 9 p.m. Main Street Music is hosting a listening party at Lucky's Last Chance on August 27th. From 9 p.m. to midnight, get a first listen of Amos Lee's new album, My New Moon, before it's released on August 31st. I know I'll be there. Now joining us on the couch, Megan and Levon the Bully. Come on down, guys. Come on down, guys. We've got a special oh, guest boy. here today. Is this our first time with the dog on yep. the couch? It just might be. <laughs> Welcome, Levon. Come on up. So, Meg, you're here with us from our own team at the Manning Development Corporation, yep. um, and you head up the marketing events over there, and you're here to tell us about a really awesome event coming up, Dog Day of Summer. Yeah. And we've got your famous dog, Levon, here, too. Yeah. He's been on our Manning dog calendar. He's been on some banners on the street, too, so yep. he's been quite a big part of our Manning neighborhood. Yep, too. yep. So, yeah, so we came up with this event. Uh, myself and Meredith from Latitudes and Longitudes mm -hmm. have been thinking about this with the success of Pet Night during Stroll the Street last year and this year. They were really big. Um, so we just thought, why not do something for our four-legged friends in the Manny Young community? So, Meg, what can we expect at uh, Dog Day of Summer? Yeah, so, like I said, um, Manny Young is very dog-friendly, so, and we have a lot of dog-friendly businesses in the neighborhood. So we thought, maybe we should do something um, that includes them, because there's nothing really for them um, as of right now. So we're going to have, you know, pet pedicures um, from the Pet Friendly Dog Bakery. Um, one of our dog walkers, City of Paws, is going to be doing a kissing booth. Tell us a little bit more about the logistics, the time, where it's located, yeah, where can people absolutely. get there. Absolutely. So if anybody's familiar with the Hidden River Blues Festival that we had a few years ago, it's going to be in the same area. So it's down by the Venice Island Recreation and Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not familiar with where that is, type in uh, 7 Lock Street on your on Google Maps or whatever you use, um, and that should take you there. So you can access it from Main and Lock Street. Yep. So just um, behind Main Street. Just you can behind from Main, Main Street. Or yep. Main and Lock right there. You'll see it right there on the basketball courts. We're going to have a giant tent set up. Um, we'll have balloons and paw prints that will lead you to the activities. And the event will run from 11 to 4 p.m. And actually following that, and, act and all weekend, um, I should say, Tito's Vodka, who is also a big supporter of uh, rescuing dogs, is going to do a yappy hour for us. So participating Love restaurants it. and bars will have um, featured Tito's drinks. And again, the portion of the proceeds will go to our beneficiary. How many dogs do you think we're going to be expecting? Oh boy, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Levon? How many friends are you bringing? Um, yeah, how many are you bringing? <laughs> how many are you going to meet, right? <laughs> yeah, I think anywhere from 500 to 1,000 people we can expect. And hopefully a lot of them will bring their dogs with them. Yep, and no admission for this event either, no right? So yep. it's free to the public free to for join. All. So as we know, we have a lot of usual fun Manyunk swag, but we did um, get some fun dog items for we this did. event. Tell us about those. Yeah, so Levon tested out the tennis balls. We have branded M&YK tennis balls that were really fun. Um, and we have our bandanas back. A lot of people have been asking about our bandanas, so they will be back in stock. And right. you can and stop by and purchase them at our table. I was going to say, Levon doesn't have his on right now because his no, neck was a little too big. He's got to a fit big it, head. But, but we will have our meaning bandanas yeah. for all the dogs, too. It's going to be an exciting day. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Meg, Absolutely. and telling us more about Dog Days of Summer, which is next Sunday, August 26th, from 11 to 4 p.m. Yep. And now Caitlin's going to head over to Pretzel Park on this week's store tour. Thanks, Leo. I'm here at Pretzel Park with Danny from City of Paws Pet Care for this episode's store tour. So, Danny, let's first start by talking a little bit about what City of Paws Pet Care is. 
Yeah, so City of Paws Pet Care is a professional dog walking and pet sitting company. Mm -hmm. We're located and based out of Maniunk. Um, we also service the surrounding neighborhoods as well as the main line. Uh, we provide midday dog walking services for people that are working and vacation services for when people go away from their home. Tell me a little bit more about how City of Paws Pet Care got its start. City of Paws Pet Care started when we moved to Maniunk in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, it started with a love for animals. I've actually been pet sitting for years. Wow. And so moving to Maniunk, it, it felt right to start another pet care business. Yeah. Being so dog oriented and, you know, the community was so, you know, pet friendly um, with the trails and, and with being so close to the river. Yeah. It just, it just felt right. So tell me about some of, I'm sure you guys watch, you know, a lot mm. of different types of pets. How do you guys deal with that and how do you, you know, do your best with every client that you have? Yeah, I mean, there are definitely some more challenging pets. Um, as long as the pet gets along with us, that's mm -hmm. really the only requirement that we have. Yeah. Um, then we will feel comfortable with being able to provide care for them. You know, I know a lot of pet owners out there want to have updates on their pet and know how the, maybe the, the walk was or if they went to the potty, so to speak. So do you guys leave those notes and updates for them as well? We do. We actually use a app for the phone mm -hmm. um, that tracks the visit. It also provides a report at the end of the visit with a picture. And so the client actually gets that report during the day, when either when they're away on vacation or when they're at or work. Or when they're at work. So, so they, they can know it. their pet is in good hands with you guys. Exactly. Um, There's never a question. Yeah. And you don't have to wait until you get home for the notes. If there was something urgent, like, I don't know, the dog had a loose bowel movement or something right. and we wanted to let them know, we can, give, can, them, know can give them those details. Yeah. Up for that too. So how do people go about booking you guys for one of these services? So if they're a brand new client, how do you kind of get them enrolled in that process? And do you do a meet and greet with their pet or how do they kind of get on board? Yeah. So the first step is getting in touch with us. Mm -hmm. You can contact us through our website form. You can also call or email us. And then once we determine that it's a good fit, we'll schedule a free meet and greet. We'll go over to the house. We'll talk to the owners and, the, and we'll get to know the pets. We'll go through the care routine, pick up a set of keys at that time. Mm -hmm. You guys are actually coming together in two weeks for a really fun event called Dog Days of Summer coming up on Sunday, August 26th. Tell us a little bit more about that event. Yeah, so the event will have a lot of pet friendly vendors. We'll have a lot of the businesses in Maniunk and we'll be down there tabling. There'll mm -hmm. also be a lot of activities, some family friendly stuff, including a dog agility course. Oh, that'll be a good one, right? Yeah, and a kissing booth, which we're actually hosting. So the event is running from 11 to four on Venice Island. So there'll be all sorts of pet activities, but yeah. again, great for the kids to come down, families with kids, just to see some of the dogs in the neighborhood too. And I'm sure yeah. you'll see a lot of your clients there as well. Yep, and most of the proceeds go to the Philadelphia chapter for the National Canine Cancer Foundation. Well, thanks for walking with me today, Danny, and telling yeah. us a little bit more about City of Paws Pet Care and what you guys do. Sure, thanks for having us. And we hope to see all of you in two weeks on Sunday, August 26th at the Dog Days of Summer event on Venice Island. That was a great start to it, Caitlin. Thanks, Levon. But where's Leo? Oh, he's over at the Pet Friendly Dog Bakery on this week's Dillinger Does It. All right, let's go check it out. Hooray! Hey guys, welcome to a brand new segment of Dillinger Does It. I'm here with Alicia and Dylan of Philly Unleashed. I'm at the Pet Friendly Dog Bakery. Alicia, welcome to the show. Thank you, thanks for having us. So we're gonna be teaching Dylan a trick, right? We are gonna be teaching Dylan a trick. And what is that? So today we're gonna work on paw targeting. We're gonna break this down into three very simple steps so that you too can teach your dog to wipe their paws. All right. All right? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna arm ourselves with a clicker, which is your marker. Got it. Go ahead and click it, let's see what it sounds like. Yeah and your reward. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a technique in step one called luring and that your cheese is your lure. Okay. And what you're going to do is simply place the lure and for your dogs at home it could be a toy, it could be a ball, anything that helps your dog engage and interact with the mat. So what I'd like you to do is place that cheese underneath the mat right. and when he interacts with the mat, flick and reward because he just Good did. Job. And now you can toss a treat for him. Tossing the treat is fun. They get to run out and get it and come yeah. back. So since Dylan is readily offering the behavior that we're looking for, we're now ready to move on to step two. Okay. And step two is going to be exactly like step one with one exception. Okay. And that is we're gonna remove the lure. And we want him to be able to paw at that mat without a lure. Click wow. and reward. And when he comes back, wait him out a little bit. Good. So Dylan's pretty much got this and now it's time to go on to step three. All right, what's step three? So step three is where we are going to put a word to it. 
And obviously, I call it wipe your paws. Uh -huh. um, so I would say, Dylan, wipe your paws. Good boy. So now you're going to toss that treat out for him. Whee. And when he comes back, I want you to ask him to wipe his paws. Right. Wipe your paws, Dylan. Good job. And that is how to teach your dog wipe your paws. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as one, two, three. <laughs> so would you say that Dillinger did it? I think Dillinger did it. Oh, Alicia, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. And Dylan, thank you so much. And now time to set it on back to the couch. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Maniac Mornings. As always, special thanks to Terry Leahy Films for producing this episode and for The Isle for hosting us here on the couch and all of our show sponsors. As always, I'm Caitlin. I'm Leo. And this is Meg from the Development Corporation and Levon the Bully. You can follow him on Instagram at, at Levon the Bully. And we hope to see you in two weeks on Sunday, August 26th at Dog Days of Summer.